So hello everyone welcome back with another video of Salesforce Geek channel and in this video we are going to learn how we can basically fetch related records in Salesforce flow. I flow. I know I already created a video on get record element right why we use get record element in order to fetch the data from the salesforce org but in this particular tutorial i am specifically move into how you can fetch related records based on a parent right so in this video what we are going to do we are going to see how we can fetch related record from a parent object which is a standard object and we are also going to see how we can fetch related records from the custom object we are going to see everything in this particular tutorial so without any delay let's check it out so first of all what i am going to do in this tutorial i am going to create a screen flow so that i will also help you to understand each and everything about like how we are fetching the related records and also sh show you like okay these are the records that we get from each get record element when we are fetching the related record so first of all what i am going to do i am going to click on screen flow and click create so if you are a beginner and want to learn salesforce flows then i created a course for absolute beginners who want to learn salesforce flow from scratch this course contain more than 80 plus tutorials and 40 plus hours of content so if you are interested to learn flows make sure you check out the course link is given below into the description of this video now the first thing that i am going to do i am going to create a variable let's say in this variable, I am going to type account ID or let's say account record. After this, I am going to select record global variable and then in the object, I am going to type account and I am going to select available for input. What does available for input means and what does available for output means? Whenever you are providing some data to your Salesforce flow, that means you need to check that particular checkbox available for input. Now, what does it mean? When we created a variable and we select available for input, that means we are providing this data to this account record variable so that we can use this particular variable in order to do some logic or whatever the thing we want to do in our Salesforce scenario. I hope this is understandable right now in the available for output means whenever you want to send the data from your salesforce flow to any external tool or let's say any anything else for example you created a flow and you want to send an email along with attachments now this is not doable with the standard functionality right so you created a salesforce apex for that uh, sending email with attachment feature right or let's say functionality or let's say to achieve that uh, send email with attachment functionality right now what we need to do we need to pass the data from our salesforce flow to that particular apex class now how you can do that you need to select that available for output checkbox in order to send the data from outside the flow i hope you get this right available for input in my case because i just want to provide the data to the salesforce flow now I am going to click done. So here you can see this is the variable just with that we just created. And now what I am going to do, I am going to save my flow just to show you how this account record will actually uh, appear over the screen flow. So I am going to save my flow and here let's say fetch related records. And here I am going to save my flow and in this i am going to click on debug so right now you can see here you will see the account record as uh, where we need to provide the data right so that is the thing that i want to tell you whenever you select available for input that means that variable is available to send the data to the flow right so here i can select any account record in order to perform some logic or perform some action inside my salesforce flow right so this is the thing that's why we selected account record as available for input now i am going to simply cross this because there is nothing in my flow right now the first thing is we have the account record that we are going to provide to our salesforce flow the first thing that we want related contacts so how we can do that as i told you that whenever we need to fetch the data from salesforce org we need to select get record element here I am going to select get record element and in label let's say I am going to type related contacts and then 
in the object I am going to type contacts right now i am assuming that you are a newbie right you you are having a little confusion about the relationship and all so i will also explain you if you go to object manager and go to contact object now why i am going to contact object because see whenever we have we are having a relationship between a parent and a child relationship will always you will find on child object so for example account and contact are related with a lookup relationship or you can say with cascade uh, cascade delete functionality right so child is basically contact so you can find the lookup field on the child object so that's why i i will i am moving into the contact object if i click on field and relationship and in the quick find i type account so you can see account name account id and lookup account so this is the lookup field right in order to fetch the data or in order to fetch the related contact we need to provide okay fetch those contact where account id equals to this so that we will get all the related contact of that particular account right so the account id is the field how we are going to see we need to go to our child object and see the relationship now what i will do i will simply select account id here equals now tell me from where i can fetch the account id or i can provide the account id from the account record variable right so here in the value i am going to type account record dot id so that's how we can provide the condition right you if you want to filter more like uh, you want to provide a criteria where email not equals to null right or such things so you can provide additional condition but for now i just want to let you know how you can fetch all the related records so i am just providing fetch only those contact where account id equals to the selected account record id now in this i am going to select all records right and after that what i am going to do i am going to display a screen where i am going to use a data table and i am simply going to select the data table on to my canvas and api name let's say related contacts data table i will also change the label of table right so you can see related contacts and in the source collection i will simply provide contacts from related contact and you can see it is a record collection variable because we use the get record element and whenever we created a get record element this collection variable will be created so i am going to select this then after that we need to configure rows so i just want a view only option and in the configure column what i am going to do i am going to type let's a name then i am also going to select maybe email and that's it so these are the two things that i am going to display on to my data table and now i am going to click on done okay i also need to provide the label so let's say display related information let's click on done so this is the simple flow that we just created in this particular scenario right i am going to save my flow again and i am going to click on debug and meanwhile let me check whether i have any uh, kind of data which i can show you so let's say uh, what i am going to do i am going to select edge communication as the account so this is the flow that we have i am going to search my account here so here you can see edge communication is available i am going to select it and click on run so see i have two related contact on to this particular account so what i need to do i am simply going to this particular account that is edge communication and if i move to contacts here you can see i have two contacts available so now let's see or let's understand the debug details that we have this is the earlier one right now you can see what we did how the interview started here you can see we selected a account record right that is edge communication and here is the id of that particular edge communication record then we use a get record element and in this get record element what you can see we provided a condition where account id equals account record dot id 
that means this is the id that we basically provided into the account record variable so here you can see in the result successfully found records then on to the screen we are displaying both the related contacts so i hope this is clear to you right now similarly what i want i also want to display the related opportunities that we have on to this particular account so for that what i'm going to do i'm again i'm going to use a get get record element and let's say related opportunities and the object will be opportunity and in the same way as i told you whenever you need to see the relationship account and opportunity who is the child opportunity is the child so simply go to object manager go to opportunity go to field and relationship and type here account so if you closely see in this particular object this is the account id or the api name right for account name and it's a lookup relationship with account so what i will do i will simply select here account and you can see account id is automatically appear i will select it and in the same way i am going to select the account record dot id i hope this is clear to you now again i want to fetch all the records and now on to the screen what i am going to do i am again going to use another data table over there and in this i am going to select related opportunities data table now let's say related opportunity and i am going to select use label as the table uh, table title now in the source collection i am going to select opportunities from related opportunity now in this i am going to configure row for view only mode and in the configure column i will add two field that is opportunity name and the second is stage and let me click on done so these are the two fields that i want to display on to the related opportunities data table and let me click on done and let me save this flow again let me click on debug now account record i am going to select edge communication and click run over there so right now you can see i have four opportunities available on to this particular account right and two contacts and in the same way as you see first what we did we fetch the all the related contacts now in the same way we fetch the related opportunities so now you will understand how we are actually fetching the data based on a particular parent id right so i think these two examples are enough in order to understand things right now what i will do i will create an another flow just to show you how it will uh, basically work with a custom object so if you closely see in the object manager if i type project right and i am going to click on field and relationship so right now you can see i have a maybe a lookup field so yes so i have a master detail field in this and to which object opportunity object right so right now you can see opportunity opportunity underscore c is the api name and how it is related with opportunity basically with master detail relationship where opportunity is parent and project is a related child right here you can see opportunity object now what i am going to do and you can see the reason why i am on project object because it is a child so the field will be visible on the child object now if i move to the uh, flow and here i also need to create an another flow in order to show you the custom object how you can fetch the related custom objects right so i will build a separate flow for that i will create a new flow and i am going to select a screen flow and click create and this time what i am going to do first of all i am going to create a new resource similarly as i did for the uh, account right here i am going to type a variable let's say opportunity record data type would be record available for input and it is of type opportunity right now you will, you should know like why i selected up available for input so that i can provide the data to my flow i am going to click on done now in this i am going to select get record element in order to fetch the related projects so here i am going to type related 
project and in the object manager I am going to type project so here you can see project underscore underscore C is available now the condition that I am going to provide here if you closely noticed opportunity underscore underscore C this is the field that we need to provide so here I am going to type opportunity so see it is automatically appear over there equals opportunity record dot ID now see opportunity record will store opportunity data and if I use dot notation dot ID it will bring me the ID of that particular opportunity right so similarly what I will do I will select all records and click on the screen component and in the same screen I am going to select a data table and in the data table what I will do related projects okay I need to provide a underscore and let's say projects data table and in the label I am going to type related projects use label as a table title configure rows view only configure column okay first I need to select a source collection so in the project from related project it is under record collection variable I need to select this and then I need to provide the name of the project and let me select let's say another let's say end date right and I'm going to click on done and also provide the label display project info click done so this is the simple flow that we have I am going to save my flow show related projects let me click on save now the reason is why I am using screen flow so that you will also understand okay this is the data that we have right so if I click on debug and let me check any opportunity where we I have some projects available let me click on so yeah into this particular opportunity I have uh, three projects actually available so what I will type here edge SLA so here I am going to select it and click on run so you can see these are the three projects that we have and that's how we can fetch custom object the only difference is in custom object relationship you will find underscore underscore C and account ID is the standard relationship that we have with account contact account opportunity but opportunity and custom object project having a, a custom master detail relationship right so that's why we have underscore underscore C over there so I hope you understand the difference and how to identify a relationship where you will find that particular relationship on which object child object so I hope this is clear to you and that's it from this tutorial it just I want to show you how you can fetch the related records or how you can find the related records in your Salesforce flow if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe this channel for more such videos and if you are interested to learn Salesforce flows from scratch make sure uh, to check out our flow course or you can also check out our Salesforce geek channel for more such videos thank you